Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play the Catacomb Apocalypse 3D! And when last we left off, time travel, because everything gets more complicated when you throw time travel into the mix. So without further ado, let's go through this shimmering magical portal and find a new challenge that awaits us, namely this area here, and the Axis of the Time Lords, and a portal right here the future node of the Time Lords, and an obvious secret area, which leads to the Transcendent Time Gate. Let's see what this area has. Gather the four keys from the Time Nodes before passing through these doors. That is a very, very important hint, because you do not want to do that uh, incorrectly. If you do that incorrectly, you might have to uh, redo whole levels, because these are sort of instanced versions of levels, you could keep coming back here constantly. Also, there was an enemy on our radar before we left here, or rather to get to here, so we need to be very, very careful when we go back. There is an enemy right there, and there is a key that we need, but I imagine we need a blue key to get back. So let's uh, grab this loot here, and uh, remember that just in case you were wondering if Nemesis was involved, there are very obvious hints everywhere. And there is only one of these here, obvious secret, and another secret behind the secret. And here is a small access area with lots of these cybernetic ants. I imagine there are going to be lots of futuristic enemies here, as this is the future node of the Time Lords. It's a good thing there aren't any Time Lords in that main area, otherwise uh, we'd have probably been obliterated, unless those uh, Orc Wizards were the Time Lords. Also, there are a lot of enemies around that corner, so standing here and letting them come around the corner is a very smart idea. There we go, and the minimum of damage was taken by Everhale. Zero. What's over here? Ah, more enemies. Hello, how are you? There are a lot of you! Time to engage in hang around the corner mechanics once again. These enemies are fortunately rather slow, which works to our benefit. I imagine there are going to be much faster enemies as we move further in. Any here? Yes, there are! Like this enemy here, and another enemy that has uh, alerted itself to our presence. Also, it's nice to know that those enemies won't always hit. There is one there, though, that I need to be very, very careful about. Here is a key that I imagine will open an area that uh, we have uh, to go to, so that we can find the other key, the key to get out, the blue key. And the game has warned us to collect all of the keys we need to get through to the um, Transcendent Gate, and I don't think it's joking. Here are some more enemies, and an area that we most certainly need to back away from, so that we uh, don't get attacked by both of them at once. Anything over here? The Halls of the Evil Supplicants. What about over here? I think I found a futuristic wizard, in a strange robotic body, that seems to melt in exceptional agony when it dies. Fair enough. Well, that's what you get for serving Nemesis, I guess. You make Everhale into an enemy. And you don't want Everhale as an enemy. Ever. We're going to wait for this enemy to come through here, because we don't want to blow up any of those uh, treasure chests there. There we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. And not bad either. We have a few exterminators, which we're going to be using quite a lot, I wager, and this looks like a very obvious secret wall, leading to more of these robotic wizards. I think it's time to have a uh, zapper or two ready, and a singular one of the cybernetic ants. It would seem a single zapper is sufficient to kill them, the uh, futuristic robot wizards, so we're going to be uh, most certainly keeping that in mind. They are very fast though, as you can see, and they take quite a few hits to die. Any more of them? Let's have a look. The answer is yes, there are. There are a lot of them. All right, we'll wait here. And one zapper, two zappers. That will certainly soften them up a little. They do fire very quickly, and they move very fast, probably uh, because of that robotic body, but I think they're pretty much the same as the uh, other wizards that we've encountered in the other games, except they hurt a lot more. I suppose that's because they are a weird fusion of futuristic technology and magic. They are, after all, android mages, 
Which makes you wonder, were they once human and transferred themselves into android bodies, or were they always androids that have learned to master magic? I did not know that was a secret. Are any of the other secrets? The answer is... No. Alright, what's over here? More of these enemies. We need to be very, very careful here. Very careful indeed, because they most certainly hurt, as you can see. We're already down to 36% health. And there's probably a reason why we're being careful here, and indeed there is loot we want to protect. And here is a zapper to protect it, and another one just to be sure. There are a lot of enemies here, a lot of enemies indeed, and we're in some serious trouble. One well, cure potion will alleviate that trouble. The Hidden Prayer Hall of the Mages. By the way, if you're curious as to if these mages uh, serve Nemesis, here is a very, very subtle hint. I think they serve the mages. Or rather, the mages serve Nemesis. Maybe these are all clones of Nemesis that serve the mages. At this rate, who knows? There are a few things here. There was a cure potion to replace the one that we lost. I like the idea that clones of Nemesis are serving the mages that, in turn, serve Nemesis. It would be interesting. And it would seem that Nemesis has uh, not changed at all what he looks like. Also, there are a lot of these mages here that we need to be very, very careful of, because they are very, very nasty and dangerous, and will deal a lot of damage to us if we let them. And we really don't want them to let them, so uh, we're going to use an exterminator there, which probably in the long run saved us a lot of health. And here are some treasure chests. The prayer chamber of the android mages, which has a key in it that I imagine we will need, because it's a blue one, to escape to the area that um, we had uh, started in, the um, area with all the magical portals. <laughs> there indeed is a time gate, and we are going to go into the time gate and head back to where we were. And I saw on the uh, screen that there were some areas we have to watch out for, like that area there that is full of heads of Nemesis. Oh dear, these look nasty. I think it's time to use an exterminator or two. Or lots of them, because they are very nasty. They've already hurt me quite a bit. Alright, exterminators will help us out here. And we need to uh, definitely cure there, because we nearly died. How many more of them are there? There are a lot more. We need to be very, very careful. Unfortunately, uh, firing into the time gates appears to do nothing. That indeed was a very tricky encounter. One that, uh, the dark chambers of the Time Lords. Makes you wonder if Nemesis is pretending to be the Time Lords. What else do we have here? We have an area full of fire. We have an area full of water. And that there, that I imagine is a secret area. Anything in here that's any good? Let's find out. Hopefully not loads of, uh, I've no idea what's in here. Let's find out. Anything good? I don't know yet, but it seems to be a massive... Ooh, there are lots of gems in here, which is brilliant. We shall grab all of them. The Keep of the Mystic Gems, which means now that we have every single gem that we need, which is uh, very handy. That save there was me uh, trying to start this video and absolutely failing. Also, there appears to be uh, no secrets here whatsoever, but having all the gems certainly helps. So we're going to move back uh, through this area. Anything else here? No, it would seem not. But that's good, because uh, we don't want to go there yet. We want to go to the area that appears to obviously be full of fire. Is it going to be a level with loads of fire in it? I imagine it will be. We also need to be very, very careful, because these levels are very hard to navigate. And I have no idea what that is, but it is running away with some extreme speed there. We're in the southern region of fire, and we need to make sure that we, uh... Ooh, that appears to be a robot with a turret. Indeed, that is a robot with a turret, and it seems to hurt, and they implode on themselves when they die. Which at least is, uh, nice in that, um, they don't appear to deal lots of damage when they die. But it also means that there aren't any corpses for me to be able to navigate as to, uh, where we've already been. And there's nothing in there whatsoever, but there is loot here, and a single cure potion makes up for all the damage we just sustained. 
Let's see if we can uh, find where that weird sort of eye orb went, because we most certainly want to find that location. Anything in here? No, it would seem not, but uh, there is the point of origin where we had originally come in, so we're going to go this way, and there is that uh, orb thing that appears to be uh, floating around. Maybe it's coming back, who knows? Or maybe it's just hugging the walls. Who can say? Also, here is some loot. Loot is always nice. Also, this thing is practically right next to us. There it is, and it has gone that way. And there is a mech that appears to know that we're here. Nemesis certainly is taking advantage of all of the future tech that is lying around in this area full of fire. Anything else, though? There is a, uh, a key location. And that looks like a cybernetic demon if ever I've seen one. So we're going to try and kill it. It's either cybernetic, or it looks really alien-like. It could be either. It might actually be the latter. It might be more of a uh, an alien um, entity. All right, where is that orb thing? I wish to kill it. It is over there. Hello, Mr. Orb Thing. You are now dead, and I have no idea what your purpose was whatsoever. But you are now dead, and I think we needed that key. Nothing here at all, so we'll go to this area and uh, continue through the central region of fire. This is certainly a location that we have seen before, an area entirely encompassed in all-consuming fire. It is an area that has been uh, in all of the games now, and the uh, graveyard area at the beginning of the uh, this game was uh, in the first game as well. Well, it wasn't very big, but it certainly was there. And so we see that uh, in the third game they are starting to reuse a few assets, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, it's quite sensible, really. All right. The southeastern region of fire contains within it more enemies, more of these uh, demon-like creatures that aren't actually that tough because they have no ranged attack. In fact, they might be one of the first enemies that doesn't have a ranged attack. Most of them do. Hello! There's another one of you here. I should have noticed you on the map, because I have all of the gems. Why are they even bothering with the gems anymore? It would seem like they might do a better job just not having the gems there. Anything in here? The answer is yes! Loot! We shall destroy a robot to get loot! Maybe the game is trying to subtly tell us that magic is now outdated in a world full of futuristic science. But Everhail seems to be doing perfectly fine with just magic missile. Anything here? There's something. Ah, there's an enemy! How are you? You are going to perish, and I'm not going to let you hit me. There we go! You are dead. What was in here? But loot! And loot is always nice. There we go. We got some things there, and there is a door. A completely out of place door in an area full of fire and a time gate, which we shall go through to get back to this location. And we need to be very, very careful about using the, um, we don't want to use the key that we just got there. We don't want to go back in there. I think we want to go over here now, into the, um, this area, the water node of the Time Lords. It's a good idea, I think. So off we go! A new challenge awaits us, doubtless with loads and loads of water. And, uh, what enemies will be here? It would seem like, uh, this enemy. We can't hit it right now. Ah, hello! I don't like you at all. And I've pinned myself into a corner, which is really, really bad, and you hurt quite badly. And it looks like you explode. You do explode, but you don't deal any damage whatsoever. Does this, um... The central reservoir of the water node. We need to find a, uh, a way through and a way forward. Ah, it's this way. And there you are. We most certainly want to obliterate you. Both of you. Okay, you can look left and right, but I'm most certainly still here. And you're being very, very sneaky about uh, trying to attack me. Very, very sneaky indeed. Fortunately, I can... Uh, Quite uh, quickly move away, just in case. I'm still in a corner, which is really not that good, though. Alright, time for an exterminator there. And to uh, consider that you're very, 
very fast. Very fast indeed when you're uh, above ground, or above water in this instance. There we go, and you are dead. Maybe the other enemies didn't- also, they explode into a pile of eyes. Ugh. Let's move on, shall we? And consider that these enemies are numerous, apparently. They are very, very numerous, and uh, moving back here is probably a very, very good idea. We'll let them uh, appear there, and then move back very quickly, because uh, we most certainly want to obliterate this opponent as quickly as we can. It's a good thing we have a lot of zappers here, because otherwise we'd be in some serious, serious trouble. Hello! I have no idea what you are, but you are about to explode now. Kaboom. Alright, let's go. We have no need to find any uh, gems whatsoever. All we need to find is the... Uh, there are a lot of enemies here. A lot of them indeed. We need to be very, very careful, because the last thing we want to do is uh, back up into an area which we haven't been into yet. Hello, you're going to appear there, and I'm going to use an exterminator to obliterate you. And, uh, move this way. So, uh, we've gone to an area that we have briefly been to before. There are a lot of enemies here. A lot of them. We need to be very, very careful here. We can fortunately manage to, uh, trigger them to, uh, activate by being right next to them. And then just, uh, pelt them with loads and loads of attacks like that. They're most certainly a very cautious enemy as opposed to the other enemies that, uh, appear out of the water. Also an exterminator most certainly will do a good, uh, job there. Although we did take some damage. Hello! You're the last one at the moment, so we're going to be very, very careful with, uh, dealing with you. Hello! Yes, I'm not over there, I'm over here. And I have a present for you. It's called, uh, all of these zappers here. There we go! I didn't actually use a zapper there, I probably should have. Alright, what's in here? The answer is, an area we can't open up. What about round here? Lots and lots of loot, which will make all of our efforts worth it. And a zapper there is probably a good idea. Especially considering the fact that they are very slowly getting closer. And by very slowly, I mean not slowly at all, because there are multiple of them. That one's not me defeated, and that one's not me defeated. We're going to move away here, because if we uh, keep a good distance, they really can't do very much to us at all. Is that one defeated? That is one defeated, which is good. Two defeated? Excellent. Three defeated? Yes. They're all gone now. Brilliant. And what was in here that was worth it? The answer is nothing in that chest at all. And a few things in that one. And a few things in that one. Not really enough to uh, make what we did actually worth it. And we didn't find any secret areas whatsoever. Hmm. What about over here? It appears that the uh, level carries on in misdirection. It most certainly does. Hello, enemies! How are you? There are just loads of you on this level. Absolutely loads of you. It certainly is the most challenging of all of them so far. And you don't stay above the water for very long. Unless you're a long distance away, when you appear to spend quite a bit of time above the water. Hello! You know, if you didn't have that eye there, you would be perfectly hidden. But then again, some of the other enemies were perfectly hidden, and I still noticed there are air bubbles. Or maybe you actually can't see under the uh, water with the uh, eyes that are submerged, and so you have to have the one on the stalk there, so that you can uh, also... The uh, game um, went a little bit slow there in trying to uh, turn around, which is interesting. Maybe it's the sheer amount of enemies that are on the screen. Who knows? Who knows? One thing's for sure, these enemies most certainly need to die. Right, let's try and turn around here. There we go, much better. And now they're finally starting to perish. There are two of them gone, and a third one gone? No, not yet. I'm patient though. Very, very patient. There we go, there we go. Just gotta wonder how much more of this entity is beneath the water there. Maybe we'll never find out. For when we come back, folks, we'll continue to explore around this area, and there is, uh, nothing over here at all, which is a little surprising. But we shall return, and once more traipse to another area full of water.
a futuristic sewer level as opposed to any other kind of sewer level. So I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.